It's crazy, crazy, but about crazy. Today we're bringing the Calico and Sirius Jones roasting Averb, calling them weird for everything that he's doing. Averb is crashing out. Like and subscribe, people. It's a bad one, right? <laughs> That's why he's doing all this shit. Why y'all not understanding that, man? Why people don't really want to... Is it that bad? Like, niggas just want to pretend like they don't know why. I mean, when y'all supposed to battle? Next week. Oh, he's doing all of this. And, bro, and that's what I was finna say, he too. Think like, he just decided <laughs> to do all this out the blue as soon as our battles announced. This shit was strategic, bro. And and, and if he lose, if you beat him, he gonna say, oh, well, I wasn't in it no way. That's why, like, that's why he put that tweet down there, like, oh, he gonna get 10% of me. This shit is all obvious. Like, but I He guess told you you gonna get 10% of him? First of all, this was crazy, right? On some battle rap shit. I, and this is why I'm just saying that I'm not saying nothing else to this nigga. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because now it's, I just wanted him to show himself. So that way I could just rap now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like, at the end of the day, bro, this we really MCs. We got pride as, as rappers and MCs. Even if you at the top of the culture, that's, that's not something you do. Or try to play that game with legends. I don't even care about this, and I don't care. That shit, yeah. gay, bro. If you don't care, then you're not insulting nobody but the fans and the culture. So, how many gay things do you have to do, like gay-like things you have to do to be considered gay? No disrespect to, to because he had like people. three. He had like three gay things for me. No, nah, it's more than that for sure. He had three gay, he, and we're not going to keep using that word because we don't want people. You know what I'm saying? But you know what we mean. Okay, like, we, we gonna use the word me and my niggas use there. Like, we call it a toast. Toast? Like a toast. Yeah, he toasty. He toast. He a toast. Sassy. He's sassy. He's a sassy guy, bro. Like, he's the soap to me. He's the sassiest of all time at this point. Like, this is... He's hey, so Kyle, he tried check, to get a nigga fired from his job. Check your DM, Cal. He said he tried to get a nigga fired from his job. He's bashing, about, he's bashing his last job because he's leaving it. <laughs> and... <laughs> The third, the third thing is, what was the third told thing? Him. He's bashing his old yeah. job. He tried to get a nigga fired. Oh, and he's threatening a nigga with the police. I've never seen <laughs> nothing like that. In the, I've in never the history seen of battle rap. I've never in the history of hip hop. Whoa. I've never seen a nigga be able to be in hip hop, in rap, in any type of rap origin, anything, and threaten you with the police. I the just, niggas I, that kill us. I'm just glad that you are like speaking on this and because I'm like, I don't even want to, you know what I'm saying? Because people are gonna try to act like people are that naive and dumb nowadays that Bro, all of a I didn't want to be the person to do it because let me tell you why I feel you. I feel like I was gonna I'm gonna do this, like even when I get off of here, it's still gonna be people tweeting me that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about and this ain't my business and I need to just shut the fuck up. No, like they're, it's it's they're trying to take this is what this is what battle rap is supposed to be to me. It's supposed to be the barbershop, man. It's supposed exactly. to be the street corner, it's supposed to be in front of the projects with the lawn chair, it's supposed exactly. to be you know what I mean? The real ones, the voices of the culture, the niggas who got enough balls to even be somebody that can represent this block versus another block. Nigga, you exactly. don't deserve to be a representative of your hood if you not even somebody that's a reputable. First exactly. of all. Exactly. So if you're going to act like you, he's saying all this weird, goofy ass shit that he thinks sounds gangster. Yeah, the dope fiends call me little Chaz still, man. What the fuck does that mean? Like, what yeah, that don't mean nothing. That just mean you was a nigga in the hood that grew up to be a hoe. You don't even know how to pop it or to like give that guy type shit. So the shit that he was a, you you we not saying you ain't from the hood, but you just what does doing that things so you bad. doing things that all your big homies had to tell you was he wrong. Doesn't have any big homies, bro? This is the reality. He doesn't have. No yeah, homies, bro. bro. He had called the police on him. What? Yeah. <laughs> For real, bro. Yo, this he told me face. some shit before, bro. He told me some shit before about. You know, if a bitch did something like he said something about like something about a girl and something, he said he uh, he if she did something to disrespect him, he will get in her car and he'll drop an eight ball in her car and call the police 
And when they pull her over, they find an eight ball of crack in her car. Now, I always thought this was a joke. I totally thought this was a joke. It was funny to me. You could find a space on YouTube somewhere where I laughed at that joke. I'm taking my laugh back from that joke because I'm realizing <laughs> he was serious. Yo. No pun intended, Jones. Puns intended. Nah, this big part. He was fucking for real, you bro. We'll talk this guy. At this point, I don't put anything past him. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, what whether he means any of this or not, what you show him is that you really are a an emotional woman. You really think like a girl. Yes, bro. You really think and, like a and girl. And I wonder why. Yeah, and he, he hate not, women. He, he hate women. It. You think like a and woman. He, he hate women, though. That's, that's why. The, that's another common denominator. He hate women. And he expressed his hate for women. Black women at that. He expresses hate for them. And I'm trying to figure out, like, what did they do to you all this time? I've been trying to figure out. And then Go ahead, my bad. when he took his hair, when he took the fake hair out <laughs> and got on camera, I'm like, maybe they gave him the house in Virginia. He hated him. He's losing weight at a rapid pace. I would totally understand him hating bitches if somebody gave him that hot motherfucker. Yo, it might be that, but I think I think even beyond that, I think like with certain niggas that just kind of been nerds and never really fit in like the real way with women, they probably been teasing him for them corny ass lines and shit he be saying. Like they probably been on him like the verb is weird. Like they yeah, might because at the end of the day, we don't know niggas. We don't be knowing who niggas is if we never really hung out with them. Like seeing it, like every time, like we have a chat, right? Like every time we just having a conversation. I used to be on his faces a little something. This is what led up to this battle, really, because you know niggas been just. I kind of just been sitting there. You know, we knew this was gonna happen. He said, saying, "Yeah, John." Da, 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 da. But like he will always be having an analogy that's good, and it'll be making yeah. sense because he's still clever on some level. But then yeah, he still he still got away with words. He'll just say one weird thing that'll take the whole thing. Like, wait, what? Yeah, and he'll be like, "Shit, if nigga want nigga want beef with me, nigga, we could shit, we could pull out the swash, we could swashbuckle it." He'll be like, "Wait, what?" Like, yeah, man, he, he always got some word or some weird thing that niggas don't say that's like that's sassy or like just yeah. weird. And it's like, bro, yeah. what, what is wrong with his brain? Like, why does he always go to these weird places? Because that's how he thinks, bro. That's how he is. Because he's just a weirdo. He's a weird. Like, I never like I, I will always call verb different. I would never call him like before today. I've never called him a lame. Cause he's he he wasn't lame to me because I do a lot of shit in battle rap that I don't really that's not me for real like I'm just entertaining the people. I didn't call you know him saying? before, but like th this this is the reality. Cause no, he's lie. lame. He's he, a, he's, he's lame. He's lame for sure. Because I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't sure. gonna take the disrespect him approach because I respect him as a legend in the culture. Like you know what I'm saying? Me too. You me too. Somebody. That put on classic performances. You still somebody that's been here for a yes. long time. So you, I can't you, take none of that from you. Can't give me a reason to 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 have to say, yeah, he's a lame. I mean, I gotta admit it. Now it's like, bro, I text this man two, three weeks ago, bro. When he first started yeah. going back and forth with Hitman and all this shit, and the only reason I said something to him was because of the fact that you're inviting this man to our place of business to what? Jeopardize me getting my bread. Jeopardize what? It's going to be some smoke now or something where I'm telling my people, and my, and my legal people, hey, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Now you want to bring drama to my shit? You trying to get me violated? Yeah. You trying to fuck up my money? You trying to make money get away? No, nah, he trying to put Hitman in jail. I told bro, do not fall for the banana right. in the so, tailpipe. And, and then no, you no. talk about him bringing Please security. Don't. Leave that nigga alone. Any nigga talking about the authorities, leave Straight him up. alone, bro. Just no, leave no, him nobody alone. Nobody talks bro. like that, right? So, but let's not even. We're not even talking about on some. I didn't have an argument with him or nothing. I just I sent him the text basically saying, bro, is we battling? Yeah. This is weeks ago. Just so I know. Yeah. Bro, like, I mean, keep it real with me. Do you really the battle or are you just setting it up so that, you know, you don't have to do it and have a good excuse? Yeah. Because that's what it looks like you're doing. You keep entertaining things and then acting like, well, I'm so stressed out. I'm dealing with this. Well, why the fuck did you on spaces arguing yeah. with random girls, 40 bars, 
uh, Hitman Holla, this one, you find in everything else to pay attention to and make a thing out of. Why I just got, somebody just DM me the, the tweet. Jones is not battling a verb, but I'll be on stage though. At this time, I have family emergencies and niggas know that it's too much on me right now, and I ain't putting up. I ain't putting another second of stress on me for you niggers. First of all, you putting an ER on ER. niggers. This what me is boo. Wrong with this man, bro. He said boo. This me boo. This oh, oh, me oh, boo. Oh, oh, me. Oh, 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 no, no, no. He said boo me. Okay, I was about he's to say. Doing, I, he's doing the whole. He's so sassy. Everybody. I didn't know if he was calling you boo. I didn't know. <laughs> this yeah, me. Nah. We got a me. Boo. Get your blogs ready. I just want y'all out my life forever, and I want this that, over, that, bro. I want you out my life. That's a fucking. Yeah. That's yeah, what my wife said. Like that's what? my auntie. Yeah, my auntie, bro. On the real money. On the real money with no stress, A. Jones, you the first nigger that's about to see me on 10%. I don't know what you was on when I battled you then in my career. And I don't give a fuck about you or nobody else. Same way y'all don't give a fuck about my life. This will be my easiest battle, I'm sure of it. Yeah, Verb. Ain't no getting out of This body is ass. They can sit there and get killed. I think that he could win out of this ass whooping. That's that shit gonna be a y'all. What 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 platform y'all on? The trenches. The trenches. Oh yeah, it's on YouTube. It don't yeah, matter. Yeah. Spanky. This is what I'm trying. To Beat his he ass. It ain't it ain't hiding happen, on that. You know? It ain't gonna be hiding. He realizing what's gonna happen. He trying to do everything in his power, especially after Swamp fucked him up. All of that Superman energy. I, I think he kind of felt the chink in his own armor, and he's like, you know what? Yeah. I gotta do some damage control before this. Let me make this about everything else but this, and maybe they don't pay attention to this body that I'm about. He know what I'm gonna do to him, bro. Watch what I'm gonna do. All right, don't let him don't let him come in there and whack you though. What? Then he we're not gonna be able to we're not gonna be able to fucking say nothing to him if he beat the shit out of you. I'm just letting you know that. But just picture that. How? Yeah, yeah. I don't think you're gonna lose, especially with How? like especially with what's going on. Like it's no way. It's not, it's it's not no even way. that. It's not even that. Because real talk, Wolf. I'm not even gonna say too much, but I'm not even just dragging everything you doing and all of this right. shit. You, you just, we know your body, nigga. Yeah. We know you. And we know me. And at the end of the day, you've been, it's, you've been hiding. These niggas that you've been battling, they don't, they don't break a nigga down, down as good as I can. And you know that shit. So I ain't going to lie, Jones. You, like, you, Jones, like you, 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 you killing them ain't going to matter, matter, bro. It ain't going to matter when you kill him, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Don't be trying to take away from my greatness. Nah, nigga. nah, Don't nah. Matter. I believe, I believe it will. I believe that it will matter. That's going like a motherfucker, nigga. I believe it will matter think, because... I, I, think, I think the reason why... I think the reason why we in this space, though, and it's like fine the people in here is because of Verb. The way he going about shit and lashing out is taking away from battle rap. Bro, why you do you know, think... Why do you think, why do you think that when... But that's going to help when so, I so, so for me, so, and, and so have when a when conversation when I, with the world like, see? See... See, I, this is my first time having a space. I never felt, I never felt that shit. Hold on, I never, let me do that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? I never, I ain't even see that button down there. No, my bad. <laughs> go, 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 go. Finish. I made a mistake and did that, bro. I forgot I had that type of power in this bitch. Oh, you, are you getting on some bird <laughs> shit? Okay. No, I, yeah. I made a mistake and just hit that button. I did not even know I was hitting that. Bro, I, turned that yeah, I was trying to hit the request. That's, that's, that's that verbi shit. Niggas just be no, happy it's to the have request. Some power it's the request button. button right here. Somebody <laughs> sent the request. Doc Petty sent the request, and I hit the wrong button. Stop. Stop playing hey, hey, before y'all get back onto this, I got a quick question. I got a quick question. Y'all think, y'all think, y'all think smacking them. Starting a label will help battle rap business. Uh, like a what type of label? Like a music type situation? Any to, yeah, well, any type of entertainment act label because I feel like that's what a lot of the the battle rappers is hung up on. Like, all right, I'm gonna get my paper off this battle, but in between the next battle, how I'm gonna eat? And I feel like if Smack had more entities going on, it'd kind of hold over. Battle rappers and a lot of them being created. Space yeah, but I think but who, I also, well, who's stars? Who's who's artists that's actually fire and making oh. dope music and videos and battle rappers? Yeah, but you, I also I also find, feel like it out. take niggas to do shit on their own sometimes. We can't just sit back and have smack 
That's do everything. Saying, like, right. like, who's doing that? Smack you, a regular you, nigga you, like me and you who, you, you know what I'm saying? Talking. He get paid to show up to the but, battles just like we do. Like, he get his his check just like we do. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be it wouldn't be him doing everything. It's him doing it for his niche of people. Smack is in tune with battle rappers as a other A and R's and other. Well, I don't think it could ever music, hurt. Though, I don't say that. That's not music, I don't think it could ever hurt, but I think it'll be a waste of a lot of money. That's what I think. Damn. I feel like All right. I will pick three or four niggas or something like that, and then do it. Like I wouldn't just have an open label to battle rappers. Like nah. Well, I Half feel these like niggas don't even got, take their craft serious. Half of them walk in rapping okay. like everybody it's else. It's only a few people in battle rap that really, and no disrespect, it's only a few people that's really making mainstreamable music in battle rap in the first place. It's not like yeah. nobody doing that. A lot, of ni- a lot of niggas don't know. It's a lot of niggas, that, and even if you want to say a mainstream music, you could get one little slap or something. Yeah, yeah but, but y'all don't support. Y'all don't support shit. that type of shit. But niggas don't. But you, where you gonna support that? You gonna put it on Spotify? You gonna you gotta draw that attention versus Smack already having that attention to give to. Man, folks. if you motherfuckers, if it's if four hundred and seventy five of y'all can be in here right now, then four hundred and seventy five of y'all can download the last tape I put up. Right. Yeah, so why Smack shit. go yeah. so through that? So none of that. That matters. a nigga right here can. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is gonna be the benefit of him saying? It's not gonna be no different, y'all. I guarantee half of y'all in here. More than half of y'all in here ain't downloaded Still Outside. I did Still Outside, the, the event. That's the same event that Rock and Bill Collector is on. The event was a super success. I also put out Still Outside, the EP, which it was nine battles. I did nine songs for the tape. The tape cover looked just like the, the, the promotion for the event. Still Outside, the EP. It's right it's right there. Every battle that came out from that card, it has one of the songs at the beginning of the battle, before the battle start. Mm-hmm. Let me go download. Wait, 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 wait. So, Cal, so Cal, you being you hey, being you who you are as a battle rapper, you feel like you don't get the traction you get for your music from the say battle rap fans. Say it one more time. You feel like you don't get the proper traction you deserve from the battle rap fans when it comes to your music? Because I know a lot of niggas who for fuck sure. with your. You, but we have no idea these niggas got songs. We just think they better rap. Nah, yeah, but, Cal, 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 but I'm doing always, something. I'm doing I, even, even with I'm doing promotion, something to you where you don't... you couldn't miss it. That's what I'm saying. I did a whole event in my own city. I called it Still Outside. Then I put a tape out called Still Outside. Every battle that come out, if you supported me and watched the battles from my car, it's no way you didn't see each song. For each battle. That's what I'm saying. It was nine battles. It was nine songs. Every time a battle dropped, when Asia Moore and Yoshi G dropped, it's a song that it come yeah. on with. It tells you where to find the song. That's cool. That's when Bill concept, Collector, man. when Bill Collector and Tay Rock battle dropped, it was a song before the battle come on. It tells you where to download all so this each, so each, each artist had a song for their battle? Each artist had every 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 battle had a song for each battle. Yes. Okay. Every That's every okay. battle. It's a it's the song they had to make. No 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 no. It's had, off you know. the tape, so it's nine songs on the it's tape, and it was nine though, right? battles. It's, yeah, it's nine battles on the card. It was nine songs on the tape. Every time a battle dropped, it was in order of the songs that's on the tape. I tried to make it super easy for everybody. So you could have no choice but to just stop. So, 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 yo, Cal, so Cal, Cal, you, you see, hear me? You, you, Listen. Huh? You hear me, Cal? Yo. So, like, this is what I'm realizing, right? On some battle rap transitional shit, And right? that's something that's like, keep going, though. My next event is going to be called... I, I can't tell y'all what it's called because it's a, it's a controversial <laughs> name. But my next event, December 8th, it will be a new name for that event. And guess what? However many battles on there... It's going to be that many songs on the same tape that's called the same thing as the event. I'm doing this for every event that I throw. So y'all y'all that didn't that's know dope. what was going on, that's what's going on with my league. Every time I do an event, let's say Summer Madness, if I have Summer Madness on my shit, the album will be called Summer Madness, the EP. However many battles on the card, it will be that many songs on the tape. But you see, you, Download see, you, see, you see how you could pack out you being Calico. You see how you could pack out a venue off of like just a battle. For you sure. ever thought about like performing oh your shit though? Like, listen, you if you was in the listen, venue, listen, anybody Cal, that was in the venue, know we performed all night. You hear me? Huh? 
I said, let me say what I was trying to say to you, though. Right? Go ahead. That's fire, first of all. And that's definitely a different type of marketing that I ain't never heard nobody do, which is that's what niggas got to do is just different shit. But What's what right? I'm realizing that I never did before, right? I've been uh -huh. just going on YouTube telling stories for like the past week or so, right? Uh -huh. And them shits is getting 5,000, 6,000, 8,000 views and all of this shit just out the blue. Yeah. Which is actually more than sometimes if a nigga put a video, music video up. For sure. You know what I'm and I'm not even getting that yeah. music videos ain't even getting traction as fast as some video is just a nigga telling a story about some shit. Right. So what I'm realizing with a lot of battle rap fans and a, a lot of people that's fans in general, when they don't look at you in a lifestyle way, when they just looking at for a battle, they not thinking to go get your music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they not for thinking, sure. let me wake up and hear some this. They thinking, oh, who he battled? Yeah. Oh, oh. And that's why and that's why I'm the only one. Well, I ain't gonna say the only one, but I'm one of the few guys who is not scared to incorporate battle rap into the music. So a lot of times my my biggest songs will be um I have uh seven hundred thousand views on a video, but it'll be WWF, some shit where I cater to my fans. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or it'll be Joe Button Couch where I'm distant surf. It's like yeah, I'm, I've, I've never been too. Free surf. Yeah, I've never been afraid. Yeah, free surf. I've never been afraid to bring both um genres together because I know a lot of niggas that get in the studio and they try to stay far away from battle rap as possible. And I'll be like, bro, you a battle rapper though. I'll be doing that. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, don't do that, Jones. You got you a battle rapper. Like, okay, Cal, we are battle rappers. Yeah, with this recent it. shit, the raising the stock shit, and that shit did good. Niggas was like, I be talking crazy to them battle niggas in my music. Like, yeah, now nah, you, I you don't be, be making, caring. You be making like whole battle rap songs for niggas. Yeah, yeah, but even when I don't do that, I always throw some shit in about battle rap yeah, though, yeah. because it's my life, and I be rapping my life. That's real. I mean, what I come from the era when it's like. You didn't want to be looked at as a battle rapper, but now that's such a thing that it's like okay, you know what I'm saying? When they gave me a hundred racks to battle surf, I didn't care no more about that. I was like, you know what? I made more money than a nigga that's popping right now on tour. He making four thousand a show. Mm -hmm. Now he gonna he gonna go he gonna go make he gonna go do ten shows and say the same raps over and over again, which makes it very very gravy. But that's forty thousand that he made. They just gave me seventy to rap for nine minutes. It was just some shit I can't rap again. That's the hardest part about it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, them niggas can walk harder. in and not. Them niggas can walk in and not even say the words. They can just let the crowd rap their shit, and they still gonna get that same six thousand, seven thousand on tour. Now this question, right? Do you think it's possible for you to be at the top of the battle rap game and also have a whole crowd singing your song word for word? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna do it, Joe. I'm gonna do no, it. No, no, listen. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I I'm promise not, you, I'm gonna do it. What your opinion is? Because nobody's done it yet, still. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm gonna be the first to do it. I ain't gonna lie. If you want, but I, to I do me, feel but I like think it's gonna be me. I ain't gonna lie. That's cool. You, <laughs> we, we both supposed to feel that way. But I, I do feel like you it takes a certain caliber of guy. I don't think you got your son. It, it has to be somebody. When you, when you say, when you say on, on. Like that nigga in battle rap and that nigga um rapping, you saying on any platform? Cause will we not put Cassidy up there uh, doing that already? Cassidy, nah, he didn't do it. He, 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 he didn't do it simultaneously. Yeah, he, didn't do it. he didn't do it at the same time. Like he had uh he had like uh hotels going hotel holiday in, but he wasn't going to show up to a battle in a month. You know what I'm saying? Like he was yeah, completely yeah, done bad. with that shit before he I mean, I think, transitioned to be honest, over to battle rap. I don't rap. think it would be a wise decision. And uh, I mean, that's a controversial, I guess, yeah. thing for a battle rapper to say, but I don't think it would be wise if you have hit records and people loving your music to even jeopardize your shit. <laughs> I think if you not, <laughs> you I genuinely the, feel like, I genuinely <laughs> feel like it's not wise you do is get for certain you niggas. Do is get I feel like when I, when I do go gold or platinum, I'm going, I can't wait to body one of you niggas while I got a I platinum think platinum. Be so <laughs> because of, because nah, of who crazy. I am. I think I'll be so <laughs> far, but I'm scared of Cal, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I ain't scared These of that because I already went through so much to get here. I feel like once I get to the top where I need to be and where I want to be, 
ain't no stopping me. It like imagine, matter. imagine That's if it's a right now. You, you know I'm not yeah. gonna look at defeat, but yeah. just funny shit though, right? Imagine, right? You get a joint off. You know what I mean? Boom! That shit. If you got the Source Award, whatever Source Award, with BT Awards, or whatever, doing Award. your age. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Source what Award is crazy. Right crazy. You know, crazy. So boom! Perfect. You getting your award? Yo, they newest, hottest new artist, such and such and such, Calico. Yeah. Uh, you come out, they playing the joint. You sitting there? Yeah. Your, your pops come out the whole Detroit. Yeah, everybody's hype. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a rock. Right? Y'all don't even know I've been doing this shit for years. Just, I'm so happy to get a record off. And then they hit you like, yo, look, we got we got 150 or 200 for you to battle on this summer madness. Are you still gonna do it? Right? It depends on how much money I'm worth to bring in. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm worth, if I know for a fact I can generate a half a million dollars, let's say with an M. Let's say a nigga gave you an M. A cool that's, that's what I'm that's saying. Right? But, I don't. Let's say I, you, I'm telling you, I'm gonna body one of you niggas. I don't give a fuck. I'm <laughs> you, bro. I'm telling you this one hundred percent. Body, though, Cal. What I'm saying is, I can, It's impossible to get body. 